Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm here to show you how to make the Razor Siren V3 Chroma sound better. I'm going to show you some tweaks that you can do to improve the audio capture of this microphone, reduce the background noise that it picks up, and just to make sure it sounds good whatever you're doing, with a few different hardware level and software level tweaks to improve things. So stick around now as I show you what to do. I would recommend downloading Razor Synapse software to make the most out of this, and I'll show you some other things that you can do as well. So the Razer Siren v Chroma comes with its own desk stand as standard. However, as you'll see, I'm using it on a boom arm and for good reason, because although the desk stand and its built-in shock mount should eliminate some background noise, the problem with having it on your desk is that you'll need to turn the gain up in order for your voice to be heard clearly, which then means it can have a negative impact as it picks up keyboard sounds and other things. If you do need to use it on your desk though, make sure you tilt it upwards towards you because where that Razer logo is is where your voice goes through and it's where it's captured from. So it's a super cardioid pickup pattern so it goes in from the front so you need to make sure you're talking into that and not knocking the microphone too much. Now if you have it on your desk close to your keyboard you're probably going to pick up some background noise of keyboard presses and other things. I'm going to show you some ways around this later on, so if you haven't got a boom arm, you can still eliminate some of this noise and improve the quality of it. However, I would still recommend getting a boom arm. It's really simple to install because the base of the Razer Siren V3 Chroma just removes, and then under there you'll find some threading that will allow you to mount it on any standard boom arm. This is the Rode PSA One Plus as a demo but it is fairly straightforward to attach to any boom arm. The key is just to make sure that you get it facing the right way and close to your mouth, and then you'll easily be able to knock out a lot of that background noise. So getting it onto a boom arm and close to you will help you improve the quality of it, so that's one recommendation immediately, because it'll allow you to drop the gain levels down, and that helps in itself to eliminate some of that background noise. And obviously it gets it away from the keyboard as well, so you're not hearing the clicks as much, so it's worth doing. It's the same with any microphone, really. But you can hear the quality difference as well. It's just much nicer when it's closer to you. The super cardioid pickup pattern means it picks up in that one direction. So in theory, it should reject surrounding noise a little bit. So you don't have that omnidirectional. It's not all the way around the microphone. It's just talking into the front of it. So you can see if I'm around this side, for example, it doesn't work as well as it does if you're in the front over here. So that's one thing to keep in mind is making sure you're facing the direction there correctly. So the Razer Siren V3 Chroma is plug and play, which means you don't technically need software and there are hardware level adjustments you can do to switch between various different things, but I would still recommend downloading Synapse. When you first plug it in, you'll notice that your Windows sound settings should change. To access them, right click on the speaker, click sound settings, and then you should see this setup. You want to select headphones, assuming that you're plugging a 3.5 millimeter connection into the headset for mic monitoring, then you will use this headphones, a Razer Siren V3 Chroma, and then your microphone's obviously set to the same down here. The other important thing is in Synapse is to set it to 96 kilohertz sample rate, and that will ensure the best capture quality. And then you'll maybe want to try the advanced gain settings and high pass filter. Try those settings and see which works best for you. The best thing to do immediately is to spy that we have the microphone levels here shown in the middle. So essentially what you want to do is avoid getting into the red area. You have three different tabs here, mic volume, the headphone volume, and the mic monitoring volume, which is the side tone. That's the amount of the microphone that you're hearing through your headphones. So if you have a headset plugged in, which I'd recommend doing to the headset, then you can hear yourself through there. So what you want to do is be able to listen back to what you can hear in the world. But bear in mind, one thing that I've found is when you adjust the volume of the microphone, it actually doesn't affect the side tone, so you can still hear yourself quite loud, even when actually the microphone is capturing quite quietly. Something to bear in mind there before you do this. Now, what we want to do is actually try and knock the gain down a little bit. So reduce the gain as much as you can by getting the microphone closer to you and taking the gain down. Because if you have it on your desk and you crank it all the way up to 100, it will pick up a lot more background noise. And you'll see that immediately. So if I have it this high, you can see that in this area, even when I'm not speaking, it's still green. So the levels there are picking up sound from my PC, as an example, and feeding it through into the microphone. So the sound of cars passing by, the sound of my fan noise, just general room sounds picked up here. So I found that you need to reduce it down somewhere to around 40 
and then you can see it just completely disappears from there. Now this isn't necessarily a perfect system, so it is worth using something else. So one of the tools I'd recommend using for this is OBS. So if you're familiar with OBS, it's obviously a game capture tool which you can use for various different things. Streamers and content creators should be pretty familiar with it, but even if you're not planning on doing this, this can actually be pretty handy for improving the mic quality and working out what levels you should have things on. So if you go into OBS settings, and then go to audio, then you can select microphone, razor, siren, v3, chroma from the list, and then you'll see it should appear in the audio mix here. It has the same sort of logic as within Synapse, in that it shows you the levels, and it will let you know if you're peaking. So if you get too loud, you'll see it go into the red or the yellow areas. But what we want to use this for is basically to monitor to see if any sound is appearing in the mic when you're not talking. So you can see if we adjust the levels up. With those levels adjusted, you will have noticed that it was picking up in the mic in the mixer, but not in Synapse. So I find OBS is really good for this, working out how much the audio is being picked up there. Now I would suggest also trying this with a game running. So run a game, then keep an eye on OBS and see how much it's picking up. Maybe play around with the gain again, drop the gain down, see how much that's impacting it. It's worth playing around with the settings and seeing what works for you. Theoretically, for example, your PC might kick out more sound when you're playing games because the fans might spin up faster and they might be louder and therefore it'll be picked up by this and then you'll see it appear in the mic monitoring, in the metering, and you can get an idea of that. You can reduce the gain a little bit, get a little bit closer to you. Alternatively, there are other things that you can do as well. If you're not a streamer, but you use Discord to talk to your friends and they're complaining that they can hear fan noise, then I'd recommend this. When you're in the voice channel, click on the cog, click on voice and video, make sure obviously it is set to the right microphone, so the Razer Siren V3 Chroma, and then scroll down. In here, you should find various different sound suppression settings, and you may want to try noise suppression, crisp, is one of the options in here and you can also have standard noise suppression but crisp is pretty decent at eliminating some background noise from discord specifically obviously this won't work for other things but if you're using discord to chat to your friends and that's basically all you're doing with the microphone then this is one option that will help eliminate that problem there an alternative option if you have a decent nvidia graphics card is to download nvidia's broadcast software which uses ai to eliminate background noise and can be really powerful this is especially useful if you've got a high-end or recent nvidia gpu and it's a free download which you can use so download that and install it and then once you go through that process, what you should see is you then have an app. First of all, if you check your Windows sound settings, make sure that it's set to NVIDIA Broadcast as your microphone and NVIDIA Broadcast as your speakers. Then what you want to do is go into the Broadcast app here and make sure that the Razer Siren V3 Chroma is selected as your microphone and also whatever your headphones are. So in this case, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter connection and using mic monitoring through the headset and through the microphone. It's, so it's connected to the headphones there and what you then want to do basically is make sure that noise removal is ticked on there. You can also do room echo removal and you can add other effects to it so you could have both for example and you can adjust the strength and such of this. What you then should find is that eliminates some of that noise. Then you'd use your relevant app so let's say OBS, go into the settings into the audio settings and instead of selecting the microphone you just choose NVIDIA Broadcast it apply that and then you should find that eliminates some of that background noise you can then also adjust the gain levels accordingly because you might find to be able to turn the gain up now it's worth noting that Broadcast will work with all sorts of things so you could use it with Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Discord and other things as well you have to apply the same logic so just go into the relevant app Let's take Discord as an example. Go into the voice and sound settings, and then you'd set broadcast as your input device instead of the microphone directly. That way, basically, your mic's going into broadcast and then out of broadcast into the app, and then that will then eliminate that background noise and make you clearer. Hopefully you found these tips useful and you now have a better sounding microphone. If you did, subscribe, or at least let me know down below what you thought, and give the video a like to help me out. Thanks very much for watching. 
You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend, you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.